Hello there and welcome to this 30 minute restore class. Um, for this class, you're going to need, if you have them, if not, it's okay, um, a bolster or a pillow. I always like to sell my body pillow. So, um, well not actually sell this one, but you know what I mean. If you have a body pillow, you can go ahead and grab that. Um, if you have a strap or a scarf or um, anything, that um, like even a belt, you can go ahead and grab that now. Just kind of like, um, we're just gonna find a pose. I think we've done it recently actually, where you're just gonna wrap it around your legs, but you don't need, you don't need a strap if you don't have one. And then blocks just to have them close by. And just remember to set up your space. So as we enter into this last day of our yoga challenge, maybe sitting with what has came up for you. What does this sacred space look like for you personally? And how is God molding your life or showing you something different? So showing up differently. So maybe lighting a candle, your incense, your lights, and just getting yourself set up, finding your meditation seat. Maybe bring your hands onto your heart and gently close your eyes. Finding a few breaths here in and out. Just calming the mind and the body. Really deepening the breath here in through the nose. And then exhale through the mouth. Each day during this week, during this challenge, we focus on a word. And this word I want to offer you for our last day here is the word peace. Allowing this verse to wash over you, this familiar one that we've been kind of reading over these last few days. And just allow this to wash over you. And then I'm going to take a time, like a few moments of silence, to just sit in it. Maybe hearing it in a different way. Psalm 23, 2 to 3 from the Passion Version says, he offers a resting place for me in his luxurious love. His tracks take me to an oasis of peace, the quiet brook of bliss. That's where he restores and revives my life. He opens before me pathways to God's pleasure and leads me along his footsteps of righteousness so that I can bring honor to his name. Again, to deepen the breath here. Just coming into this oasis of peace. And this restore flow. I'm going to offer you more silence here and more stillness. And we're going to hold the poses a little bit longer. So whenever you're ready, gently open your eyes. Come into your seat position. And just find a little flow. Reach your palms high towards the sky. Spread your fingers. And then bring your hands to heart center. Maybe keeping the eyes closed or reach your gaze towards the sky. Finding two more of those. Spread your fingers. And then gently bring it back down. Finding one more here. Inhale. And then exhale. So beautiful. Bring your hands onto your knees and just find some cat and cows here. We're not going to find cat and cow in our table unless you would like to go there. You're more than welcome to. Or you can just choose to stay seated like I'm going to do. Roll your shoulders down your back and reach your heart towards the sky, inhaling. And then exhale, bring your chin towards your chest, arching your back. 
just finding these gentle cat and cows, just like we do in our tabletop. Soften your hands on your knees. And just breathe here. Choosing to stay right here. And just finding a little twist. Last little stretch on our, in our seat before we make our way onto the floor. Reach your left hand down um, onto your right knee and then bring that right arm back behind you. Just coming into that gentle little twist. Reach the crown of your head high, inhale, lengthen. And then exhale, twist. Finding two more at your own pace, breathing in and out. And gently come over to that other side. Just finding peace, finding that holy pause, that sacred space in every pose. Finding rest. And just using this space to just be with God. Reach the crown of your head high, big breath in. And then exhale, twist. Gently come back to center. Before we make our way onto our pillow, because that's going to be, um, we're just going to, Actually, I know I said one more, but I just do one more little leg stretch. So extend your legs out long. So you can choose to bring them closer together or you can choose to take them out a little wider. It's really getting in the legs, finding that deeper stretch here just before we make our way into uh, more of a laying down poses. See if you can kind of rotate your legs outward, maybe even wiggle your toes, giving some movement there to them. And then reach your, um, flex your feet, reach your toes towards the sky. Reaching your palms high towards the ceiling, finding that same little flow, just like we did earlier. Bring your hands to heart center. See if you can keep your feet flexed. Finding two more here, inhale. And then exhale. Finding one more here, big breath in. And then exhale, so beautiful. You can choose to stay right here, just taking a pause or bring your palms in front of you. Either come onto your elbows or just your palms here. See if you can keep your feet flexed. Soften your face and your forehead. Deep in your breath. Finding a few more breaths here, in and out. Gently begin to rise and find yourself in a child's pose. So move your bolster out of the way if you have it. We're gonna have that, we're gonna bring that over in just a moment or two. Take your knees out wide. And then walk your palms all the way up towards the top of your mat. Sink your head down. And really breathe deep and full into this child's pose. So see if you can bring that breath into your upper back, expanding your chest, and then simply sighing it out. Spread your fingers. Bring your forehead down. And just finding peace here that oasis of peace in this holy, sacred space. Psalm 37, 29 says, the faithful lovers of God will inherit the earth and enjoy every promise of God's care, dwelling in peace forever. Mm -hmm. 
just knowing that you're being held in God's care, dwelling in his peace forever. Finding a few more breaths here, choosing to stay in your child's pose, or we're just gonna find one downward facing dog. You don't have to if you wanna stay in your child's pose, finding rest here. If you would like to, gently make your way into your downward facing dog. Press into your palms. Reach your hips high towards the sky. Maybe pedal out the knees here. And then just begin to find stillness, just finding rest in this one and only downward facing dog. Softening your face and your forehead. Finding one more big breath in. Open the mouth and sigh it out. So beautiful. And then gently make your way onto your seat, extending your legs out long. Just finding your bolster, if you have one, or a pillow. And then just gently making your way on to your back. So we're gonna um, find some very restorative resting poses. So if you find that your mind starts to drift here, just make sure you come into your breath. So it's easy, especially when you're finding rest, to just kind of drift and think about other things. But see if you can just really be in this pose. So come all the way down onto your back here. If you have your pillow, you can bring that right underneath you. But before you do, if you have your, your strap, you can go ahead and bring that right in the center of your calves. So you're kind of using that pressure or that you're kind of using that strap to kind of hold up your legs. You're kind of pressing it against that strap. Take your feet about hip width and then gently come onto your pillow. If you don't have a pillow or anything, that's okay too. You can just come right down onto your back. Knees facing the sky, palms facing the sky. Roll your shoulders down your back and just find rest here. Coming into this sacred space. Finding this oasis of peace. Psalm 3711 says, but the humble of heart will inherit every promise and enjoyed abundant of peace. Just enjoy this abundant of peace and find about 10 big breaths in and out here. Deep in the breath. Just 
Choosing to stay in this pose for as long as you would like to. You can stay in any pose for as long as you'd like to. Just finding that rest, resting the whole body. Entering into this sacred space with God. Staying here if you would like to, or gently make your way to wa your waterfall pose. Remove your bolster out of the way if you would like to. If you also have the option of doing legs up a wall. So we're gonna be here for just a few moments, holding poses a little bit longer here. So see if you can come to a wall if you'd like, or you can just reach your legs up towards the sky. If you're close to a wall, just simply take your legs up, face your palms towards the sky, and just rest your legs on the wall, just allowing yourself to be here in this pose. Finding about 10 or 11 big breaths here. Your mind starts to drift, most likely it will. Just come back to your breath. Just notice it, becoming the observer. I'm just coming back to your breath, back to the sacred space again and again. Choosing to stay in this pose for as long as you would like to. Or gently make your way off the wall or just bring your legs down, bring your knees in towards your chest, give yourself a squeeze. And then gently extend one of your legs out long and bring the opposite knee in towards your chest and just give it a little squeeze here. Blade your shoulders down your back, flex your right foot. giving that knee a little squeeze, and then bring that knee over to the opposite side, finding a supine twist, so a little bit deeper of a twist. If this is too much, you can bring your knees together or keep that leg extended. So Yogi's Choice, extending the opposite arm out long and just find this little twist, finding rest here. Gently make your way back to center. Bring the opposite knee in towards your chest. Give it a little squeeze. Just finding that pause, flex that foot. Press your whole back into the mat. Big breath here. Side out. And then bring that knee over to the opposite side, extending the opposite arm out. Just finding that little twist. Finding those breaths deep and full.
Gently come back to center. Bring your knees in towards your chest and give yourself a little squeeze. Finding one more little resting pose before we enter into our Shavasana. Bring the palms of your feet together. Take your knees out wide. You can bring pillows underneath or blocks underneath your knees if you'd like. Bring one hand to your heart and one hand to your belly. And just feel the rise and fall of your chest. Finding this oasis of peace, this quiet brook of bliss. Allowing this verse to wash over you one more time. He offers a resting place for me in his luxurious love. His tracks take me to an oasis of peace, a quiet brook of bliss. That's where he restores and revives my life. He opens before me pathways to God's pleasure and leads me along his footsteps of righteousness so that I can bring honor to his name. Deep in your breath here. Staying here for the remainder of class or bring your knees in towards your chest and give yourself a hug. And that you are so loved and supported. Getting ready for this silent Shavasana. Give yourself one last little squeeze and then open up, taking up as much space as you'd like. Maybe even point your toes outward. Push your chin towards the sky. Face your palms towards the sky. Maybe finding a blanket if you're cold or a cloth to put over your eyes. Finding one more big inhale. Open the mouth and sigh it out. Finding Shavasana.
Begin to deepen your breath. Perhaps lingering here for as long as you would like to. Gently make your way to a feel good morning stretch, spreading your fingers, pointing your toes. And then come on to one side, bring your knees in towards your chest, maybe an arm underneath your head. And just give yourself a little hug. Remembering how loved and supported you are. Thanking God for this sacred space, this oasis of peace. And thank yourself for showing up today. Find your seat with your eyes still closed. Gently bring your hands onto your heart. Taking one more big, expansive breath together. Big inhale. Open the mouth and sigh it out. Thank you, God, for the space. Thank you for allowing us to just be with you so freely. Help us to make more sacred space in our lives, whether we showed up every day for the challenge or not. Thank you for giving us this space to just be in. Thank you for loving us and align our hearts to yours. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Namaste. Thank you so much for joining me. If you were taking place in the 60, 60, 60, oh my, six day challenge, I'm so glad that you joined in with me. Um, I hope it blessed you. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. And um, I look forward to seeing everyone very soon.